in summary, today was a bit of a struggle, but we worked through it just mainly because I don't know what I'm doing most of the time, which is par for the course, and that's quite okay. It means we're hey, I'm pushing myself a little bit out of my comfort zone. I didn't feel too far out of my comfort zone, and that's when you know you want to pull back and work on something that is a little more achievable. But I did feel some frustration. I think it was mainly that I didn't have Docker installed on my computer and uh, installed it during the stream and there's some follow-up steps you have to do on Ubuntu to make sure you've got permission to access the Docker daemon so you won't get a bunch of errors and the errors are kind of nondescript but honestly I also found a thread of like hundreds of commenters that had that same error so I think there's a little bit of like just room for compromise there in terms of uh, trying to simplify the developer experience by not adding a bunch of requirements, but then, which is the goal of Docker, uh, so that we have this one requirement and it allows us to containerize uh, multiple um, components in a software architecture. So our goal here is to start working with the first class database, Postgres with the PostGIS extension, and make it easy for new developers and myself to spin up uh, a database. I'm not going to the extent of dockerizing the whole project. I think that would be overkill at this point. I'll still just rely on the manage pi command to run the thing, but I would like to spin up and put down a Docker server uh, just so I have it running during development. And that's about it. We you know, more or less copied and pasted this um, Docker Compose um, file and through reading several um, documentation sources. But again, I had to um, just really closely read the docs. It's, it, in fairness, it, it is well documented that you have to add yourself to the Docker group. And I knew that in the back of my mind because I've had to do that before. And just some of the things I pieced together was about volumes where uh, Postgres is going to store its data uh, in the local development environment is so that the container can uh, when the container goes down, the data is persisted across session, sessions. Uh, we're passing an environment variable here to set the password to a very generic password. I've noted in the readme that this is only for de local development and for simplicity and convenience. Not to run this um, in production. We'll be working on a separate Docker file and Docker Compose file for a production deployment, but we're really far from that. And uh, yeah, Dr. Unafraid there is relating that do <laughs> Docker can be challenging to work with. And the goal is to simplify things. So I hope that by my uh, going through these struggles and at least creating the Docker Compose image, uh, other developers won't have that same struggle going forward. Was all they have to do is make sure Docker is installed and configured and hopefully things will work for them. Uh, I think that's about it though. It was a relatively short stream and uh, we did a recap of the code progress so far with the um, notebook on proximity analysis, uh, which we've reviewed in previous sessions in any case. So thank you very much, Dr. Unafraid. Uh, it's nice to talk to you. Thanks for stopping by again, Voimar. Let me know, Voimar, if you uh, find any other uh, awesome streamers out there that are doing free and open source development work, I'd also be interested to stop by their, uh, their streams and support them. Uh, code Buddies, um, Hangouts maybe aren't streamed as often. I think it would be nice if more people would stream our Code Buddies Hangouts, so to, so our our community has a bigger uh, shines more light into the developer community. I think CodeBuddies.org is a really great community. So on that note, if you're interested in streaming or live coding or hanging out with other like-minded free and open source software developers, stop by CodeBuddies.org. CodeBuddies is also an open source project on GitHub at GitHub.com/CodeBuddies. Or if you'd like to get involved with the Sustainable Urban Design Project, stop by github.com slash sustainable urban design. Thanks for everybody hanging out in the chat. If you're watching this on YouTube, do feel free to leave any questions or comments in the video. I'll try to answer this promptly. Have a great day. I hope you're doing out there. I hope you're doing well out there and stay healthy.